Alright guys, what is this, third or second take on this stupid thing? Let's try this here. Alright. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Lucy, stop! Shut up. This is going to be uh, just a little more roll update. I know you guys seen the unboxing of this one. Um, let me just take the mic off, it's easy. Um, Alright, so this is just a standard um, November Mike November 6193C. Um, it's one of the older lapel mics. I had this one, I had my H2 1000 and my X is 3000 I used this for that day I had it um there. so um yeah it's set up this and then I have uh, I'm on Come on, flip the display. Alright, let, let me start here. Alright, there we go. Let's push it on the button. Um, yeah, receive only. On this channel, uh, we got this side button light and flip the display. Uh, program select for a scan. Uh, squelch, push to talk. Um, yeah, it's an MTS 2000, model one. I like how it displays the, the top. Uh, MCD ID, I think, or whatever it's called. But, um, got my fair share of channels in there. I can talk on these. Uh, FBI channel. And 16 and 1 and 2 and 15 are the same channels. So if you're going here, so it doesn't, if you're like, say you're here, you can either turn this way or you can turn it that way and you'll be on the standard talk group. And you push ch and you go on channel 15, CMS 1. Channel 2 is the MS12. Um, concentric switch is this is scan, this is uh, monitor, uh, like single switch and scan. Distance delete, um, A normal, B unprogrammed, C is a scan program. As you probably heard, it goes in the scan program and we Okay, that's uh, we'll the village call visually. Sorry, we're 130 on the floor. Okay, That, um, is down. I have a. My 7.2 Nike had battery. That's that one. And uh, this radio is manufactured 82798. Um, it's an R split. It is narrow band compatible, so it works. Um, 
It's the like, second time I've had it on the radio just like this. Uh, I'll do a self-test for you guys. Alright, that doesn't want to work. Um, Channel test, okay, hold on. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Reading the fly port, I think. Then it goes to RF test. So, you know, I'll put it in normal mode. Okay. Um, now, let me put transmit for you. One, two, three. Turn up my scanner. One, two, three. There, yeah, there's a three second delay from when I key up till my scanner picks it up, so a little transmitting time delay. This is just on JMRS channel one. Anybody out there? One, two, three. Like, I'll be normally picking up the normal farm uh, down the road and uh, one of the stores on the GMRS channel, but I uh, normally just delete them. Um, yeah, but I, I'm picking up uh, on the FBI channel. The station is, uh, I think, 35 miles away, and I pick it up perfectly clear. Um... As I just got timed out. One, two, three. One. Um, so yeah, it is a good radio. Um, I'm gonna let's get to the other second thing I have. I have just a uh, seven point two nickel metal hydride um battery. It's that design. It's melted right here and here. And I also noticed that there's a melt spot in the corner and right there in the M. And it depends on the lighting, but you can see where it looks like it's gone across the road. Um, that was not for me, though. Okay. Um, which time are we pushing? Eight minutes? Yeah, okay. I have the telecharger. Back there, I don't use it. I have a bedside charger. It's just a standard one. I think I might put that that one up here and uh, bring the Intelli charger down. Um, but if I can get this thing to focus, yeah, so my desktop is a mess for some reason. But I have. What do we got here? Come on. Motorola Apex 7 fam Apex Family CPS. Um, and I'm texting my friend as that loads. And I've uh, for you people that don't know what the Apex 7000 software looks like, the Apex Family software looks like, this is the Apex software. Um, I did mess around with the code plug, if I can find it again. Um, probably be a computer. Yeah, on a computer. Now be software package. Uh, and then this is just gonna be a software thing. 
This came with the radio software too. For all these bland, for all these brands, there's tons and tons of software on this thing. Um, so Dan, if you need your EF Johnson software, I can send you it over. Uh, if I can find it, yeah, EF Johnson. You have there. It's not in this file, but there's another EF Johnson one I was looking at earlier. Oh. Let's go back here. Um, and oh God, I don't know how to go back. Oh God. Let's see. Uh, radio for two. Now I need to go to Motorola. Okay. Damn. That one. Nope. I'm struggling. That one. And this one. And that one. I forget how to get to it. Alright, so let's go back here. Um, Motorola software. Current files. I've put the files in the other place. Uh, well, this is only accessing it through the software, so it doesn't pick up everything. Um, you can read the radio. It'll come up as an error. It's a cannot find radio kinetic USB port. Um, refresh the radio, clone a radio, recent code plugs, fast for a clone plug. Um, you got all your programming stuff up here. Uh, getting started tutorials. Um, like they have software to help for all the Apex radios. Apex 4000 and those, the model Apex 7000, but I'd probably get that one. Wait, what is that? Apex, yeah, 7000. This one, the, this just came out, the, the wireless earpiece. And there's, in there's tutorials how to use all the pieces. And that's an Apex SRX. Oh, I've never seen that one before. That's cool. Um. But there are other radios that aren't sold to the public, like the SRX one. And that's a uh, Apex 2500. But there is a lot of Apex radios that, if you're not really big into the Apex family, you won't know about. Um, yeah, I have to download the XTS 5000 software, and um, I gotta go, so, because I'm pushing my time. So, see you guys.